Yes, that is the question. Is this game better than FC25? We're gonna look at a lot of new gameplay of eFootball 2025 today. Obviously, the game has now been out for a few days and I've been able to play it a lot more. I made a video about it already, but then we went through, you know, just my first impressions of the game. Now we can see a little bit more. So obviously, we are starting off here with some of these brand new tunnel cutscenes, which are looking amazing. And I feel like the graphics are looking sharper than it has ever been done before. Something that I noticed guys after trying a few more matches is that suddenly I ended up in a snowy match and as you can see they literally got piles of snow around the stadium and that is not everything. I promise you guys when you actually are playing in snow I don't know how easy it is to see here but when you're actually playing the game it is so difficult to see the ball because there is so much snow pouring down they've added even more snow guys to the game and to be fair i like that but luckily for me i was playing with a yellow ball as we can see here as well the grass textures have also been updated the graphics have just been much more improved and they're sharper than ever new player faces you can see as well the laces of the football boots are now actually moving around these are obviously not really too many things you're going to be noticing when you're playing the game but in replays this is a nice little cheeky detail attention to detail right there now of course i've been playing a few matches and noticed as well that the penalties have been changed so we have this a cutscene of course the players complaining to the referee he should probably give out some yellow cards right there because that was um, you know all up in the referee's face Holon gets fouled and he is going to be taking his penalty so for the penalties they also have uh, the new indicator has been slightly changed and for the penalty run up animations as we can see Holon doesn't really have you know the one that it does in real life so they haven't added too many more penalty styles that was a bad miss but something that i noticed in that miss is that holland's hair is moving all over the place they have finally added realistic hair movement to the game as you can see erling holland has also had a hair update and um, it's just going all over the place this is something that you noticed especially when you are just running with the players in game today's video is brought to you by hello fresh hello fresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week and right now if you use my coupon code which you're seeing on the screen right now you're gonna be able to get yourself 10 free meals and also free appetizers for life and the best part you've got over 50 flavorful recipes to choose from we've all been there when we end up spending hours on the game and forget to actually do something that is important which is to eat and hello fresh has got incredible meals and fresh ingredients which you will absolutely love i was so happy when they contacted me because i've been using hello fresh myself for years and now they want to partner with me that is an incredible feeling and i really want to be able to give you guys the best deals possible so yet again use my coupon code and you're going to be getting 10 free meals and also free appetizers for life go ahead and check it out by using the link in the description down below thank you once again so much to hello fresh for sponsoring this video let's get back to it then we have a new type of uh, shot or it's an old type of shot but it's been updated basically whenever you do a finesse shot where you press r1 on playstation to do like a curved shot we have this new blue indicator so i don't know if that is you know uh, an improvement for the finesse shots to make them a bit more controlled easier to score but i noticed almost every single finesse shot that i hit was in the back of the net all of them if they didn't uh, go in were definitely really really close here we have a new celebration as well from uh, harvey elliott some of the players have uh, gotten new celebrations there's actually a lot of new celebrations in the game another one there as you can see a dipping shot from Lionel messi and he is also going to be doing a uh, signature celebration right there really really nice celebration and these cutscenes when they are just cutting over to the celebrations are so sharp man i promise you guys it looks way better on the console uh, than it actually does on this video the graphics are really really good uh, except for the fans in the stadium they still look like ghosts or something it's it's really scary uh, but here we can see another one of course memphis has his uh, headband but xavi simmons have also got a unique celebration right there and yet again i love these cutscenes man they look really sharp new facial expressions as well they have added so many new celebrations so if you guys want to see a video about literally all of them it would take me hours <laughs> to make uh, but i can do that in the next one as we can see i also noticed that we have a new fake shot 
yes, as we can see with Harvey Elliott, he is uh, showing off this fake Charvart here, and I found it really, really effective. Really nice animation, and um, you know, it's 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 a good feature in game. It's gonna help you create chances and score goals. We also have a brand new injury cutscenes. You're now gonna be seeing the pain of the players a little bit more. And um, yeah, there's some new changes for that as well. You know, we have some unique uh, free kick styles, not too many updated for the penalties, but for the free kicks, as you can see, for example, right here, with Dries Mertens, he's got this really nice technique, which is really, really effective. But my favorite one is this one from Inter's DiMarco. I mean, his free kick style is so good because whenever, like the second you touch the button, he starts running up to it right away. There is literally no delay in this free kick animation, and I thought that was actually really, really cool. As you can see, I scored a couple of really nice goals in a row. Obviously, we still have other free kick animations which have been in the game before, which are not new, but still, they have like so many free kick styles. I think in total, they got like 20 or something, so uh, definitely a lot of, uh, you know, cool players there with uh, their unique animations. I also want to show you guys what people have been doing with this game, because right now on PC, you can obviously get the proper licenses. As we can see, Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool, every single team is there. You know, teams that aren't licensed is really there in the game. For the next picture, we obviously have Virgil van Dijk in his uh, Liverpool uh, red shirt. And guys, what we need right now, I mean, this game is, is not bad. The only problem is that there is literally no game modes. There is nothing to do on the game. That's why we don't play it all the time. We need Master League and we also need option files. We need to be able to do as we could do back in PES, where you have a USB stick, you stick it in the back of the PlayStation, and you can get all the kits on the game. I mean, look at how much better this game looks like when you actually have the real kits on the players. Then we could start maybe comparing this game to FC25 whenever they add this option. They have talked about this option before, but obviously, the game came out years ago, we still don't have a feature that you can do this. You can obviously do it on PES 2021, you can get any of the kits that you want. Here we can see Antoine Griezmann as well, I mean the player faces, in my opinion on eFootball, is even better than it is on FC25. That is one thing I prefer on this game, but obviously FC25 has got the game modes, they have got the licenses, the most important things for us to literally be on the game, to log in every single day. That doesn't really uh, work with eFootball. They only have Dream Team, which is obviously for online. They don't have anything at the moment. Not even my league is there right now for offline players. And uh, I really wish in the next few days or weeks, we could see something with Master League. Maybe even a release for Master League, guys, is exactly what we need. Uh, there actually was some information released that uh, Master League apparently has been delayed because there was an interview with a Turkish YouTuber who was able to interview literally like the, uh, the, the creator or like a director or something, a really important person behind eFootball. And he basically said that Master League was done. It was ready to come out, but then they weren't happy with the product. So they've gone ahead and delayed it. Unfortunately, we haven't had any like statements from eFootball themselves, they never mention anything. So now people are starting to literally ask the game developers what is going on with Master League. Obviously, I'm gonna keep you guys updated whenever we have any information about Master League, or hopefully soon we are gonna be seeing this DLC coming out. And I cannot wait to do like a series with this game when we actually have a proper game mode to play. So thank you guys so much for watching. This will probably be the last eFootball video for quite a while. We'll have to wait and see. It depends if they release anything new. But uh, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one.